Hey guys! Hello! Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new, I'm Ovoke. I'm Giuseppe. And welcome back. So before we start this Q&A, we quickly really want to thank you guys so, so much for all the love and well wishes you guys have thrown our way since we did our pregnancy announcement, right? It's, it, it was already, I was already happy, but just seeing all your reactions and questions, it just makes me more happy. So yeah, we were, we were really overwhelmed by the love. So thank you guys so, so much. Anyway, so today we're going to be doing the pregnancy Q&A. Yesterday we posted a picture on Instagram asking our followers to ask us some questions since we haven't really reviewed a lot about our pregnancy. And we've got a lot of questions, so we're just going to go through them quickly and answer as much as we can answer you guys. Yes. So uh, let's get started. So the first question is, when did we find out that we were pregnant? When in, as, when? in months? Yeah, like men. Yeah, in months. Do you remember? Can you remember? I remember, babe. You remember I remember the was? exact date and the exact month. Guys don't even remember those things, so Giuseppe probably doesn't know. What month is it today? Is it when? July. When July. Uh, February. Oh my god. In February. Oh my god. End no. of March. No, no, please wait. You see what I mean? Let me answer the question. End of May. We found out that we're pregnant in March 13th, babe. That day should be on your brain. You shouldn't like forget it. Yes. So March 13th was when we found out that we were pregnant. Was this baby, was the pregnancy planned for? Was it planned or it just happened accidentally? I think we were like ready to have kids. Right, yeah, babe? I mean, uh, we just uh, first we wanted to get married, mm -hmm. and after that, we just left it to God and fate. And, and then, yeah, and, and we didn't really plan it specifically, but we just you know, but we were ready. We were it, ready. it wasn't yeah. like we, no, some people were like, Oh my god, we're not ready, but we were ready because we kind of like did everything we wanted to do already. I already I was graduate, I'm done with school and everything, and he was already like ready to be a father, so it like came in the right time. Yes. So the next question is, will you be finding out what you're having? We already know, but we're not telling you. Yeah, we finding we 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 find we didn't even know, we knew when did we find out? Two weeks ago. We found it two weeks ago. So stop acting as if you know all this time. We well, found it. We found it two weeks ago, and the gender reveal vlog is gonna be up pretty soon. So you guys are going to find out. So yes, we do know what we're having. Keep looking, cause it's gonna be. It's gonna be amazing vlog, guys. It's gonna be an it's amazing be nice vlog. vlog. The next question is for me. They ask me. If I've been experiencing any morning sickness, guys, seriously, this pregnancy, I cannot even thank God for how smooth everything has gone so far. Like I don't have, I didn't have any uh, morning sickness for the first three months. I was really, really tired. That's like for sure. I couldn't do nothing the first three months, but ever since then I've been like feeling really okay. No, no, uh, no morning sickness. Um, I'm not that fat, I didn't get that much weight, my appetite didn't change that much. So pretty much it has been a smooth ride so far, so yes. Yeah, I agree. I must yeah? say that I would have expected a lot of puking yeah. and, and, and rage I expected and that. food munches and she waking me up at night to go and get her uh, McDonald's or something, but none of that has happened yet. So, let's see, hope it stays like this. So you but it's been very easy on me. Actually, yes, uh, yes. I've been like, I, I agree. I would have expected so far it would be, right now, I'll just be like, but she's been amazing. Yeah. She's been amazing. Yeah, so I haven't like worried you that much. No. Good, you see, he's been, he's having really, really good for himself. Question is, how far are we, like currently? Because we said we're pregnant, but nobody knows how far we are. Oh, right. Like, in weeks, right? So uh, this week makes it this week that we are 23 makes it 23 going to 24. So we are almost at six months. Wow. Yes, guys. Yeah. We are <laughs> almost done with the second trimester. Like it's crazy. In three months, there's gonna be a baby angle. Oh crazy, my God. right? I can't wait. I cannot wait, guys. 
crazy. It's just think about it in three months. And I, I, and I never knew that it was like pregnancy because it's nine months. It's three, three trimesters. So the first one was three months. Three months where she was like so tired. The second three months, which we've almost finished now, is when she was pretty normal, active, still be able to do stuff. But they say about the last one. The last three is going to be like... The last ones are going to be tough. She's already like struggling getting out of bed. You know, and she's starting to like... Every time she drops something on the floor, she just looks at me and we... <laughs> you know, she's got to the stage that she's like, you know what? I'm big. I'm not going to do shit anymore. <laughs> it's time for you to step in. And the, yeah, yeah. It's so, going it's to it's happen, guys. The hard part is coming. The hard yeah. three months are coming. But I think with God and us together, we can conquer it. High five, babe. <laughs> this is her saying you have to do everything. <laughs> In other words. Are you still working school? Are you planning to have the baby at home? Delivery midwife or in the hospital? Okay, so currently I'm not, uh, I'm not at school. Like I said, I already graduated and I'm working for myself. How do you say that? Entrepreneur? Wow, right? you just... Uh... Yeah, I guess. So you just. Uh, yeah, I guess it's entrepreneur. It's an entrepreneur. Well, entrepreneur has an official registered business. You do a lot of stuff. Yeah, I do a lot of stuff. So she I work for herself. I work, her own boss. Yeah, I work for myself. So that's which makes things like really easy. And the other next question: Are we going? Are we planning to give birth? Do the birth at home or in the hospital? No, at at the hospital. Yeah, yeah. I we're just, not really like that. We're not that. <laughs> No. Well, how do you, how do I, don't know, I don't know how you call those people. The natural no. people that no sedative at home, natural birth. No. We, ah, we, no. no. We like the fact that there's a lot of medical equipment around. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case, you never know. Yeah. So we, we've decided we're going to be doing it in the hospital. hospital. Yes. Yes. Question is, is it like, how did you know that you were ready for kids? How do you, how do we, how do you know that you're ready for kids? It's, 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 it's it's, is that a question for you or for? I just was in right. told you. Well, for me, then maybe for me and for you is different. Mm -hmm. For me, it's it's the phase in life you are. I mean, there's a phase that you feel like going out a lot. There's a phase that you feel like you need to settle down. There's a phase you need to feel like you need to focus on career. And for me, everything just when we got married. Uh, everything just came together and it will be out of nothing out of natural I don't know what it is but the natural next step for me was to have a kid yeah. I always wanted to start a family step one was getting married step two is getting a kid so basically it was very natural for me yeah uh, plus okay if we would have got married when we were 22 maybe it would have been different because then I would have probably said you know what you still need to finish school I still need to start working yeah you know? It will be different, but I've been working for a while. She's finished school for a while. She's doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. Yeah. And basically, we're like, you know, why yeah. not? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think, like, it happened naturally. Like, everything that's happened in our relationship, I kind of have its own cause. Things just, like, fall into place with us. Like, we just, like, do stuff according to our time. And I felt like this year was really, really, really the time for us to like start a family and that's also something that i wished for in the beginning of the year like i remember on my birthday when i had to blow the candles off and i had to make a wish that was the one wish that i made because i really just felt this was the right time for us to start a family so yeah i guess you just feel it when you yeah, feel it don't overrush it too yeah are you both scared slash nervous for the change that you would be facing as a new parents yes what, are you scared? Oh, yes. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Giuseppe is not scared. I think you're, like, more nervous, babe. That's it. I'm not I'm not nervous at all. Just, I don't know. I think it's just, like, the modeling instinct. Like, I feel like I'm ready for whatever is going to come. I'm more calm. And because I've been around kids, I, prob I like, practically, like, raise up my brother. Because my brother, my mother, my younger brother, I'm older than my younger brother with 17 years. So... I was there, I was 17 when my mother gave birth to him, so I was there with the diapers and everything, so I kind of know a lot already. Why Giuseppe hasn't really been around kids a lot, so he, for him, is 
it's it's, it's going, new. Yeah. It's, everything is new, but I know it's going to learn like pretty sure, fast. Sure, of course. Yeah. But it's just a big change in your life. Of course, of and course. And if you don't have kids or you didn't grow up with them, you're trying to understand what it will be like. But it's difficult for me to understand what. Or I don't see it yet. So it's yeah. Kind of, and I'm uh, more practical kind of person. Like she thinks only about the good thing or that. I'm also thinking about the practical thing. Like, oh my God, I need to fix this. I need to fix that. I need to have everything. Uh, I have like a list of 27 to do things. I'm a little bit of a control freak sometimes. Uh, so Sometimes? <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that, that's what making me nervous a little bit. You know, like, okay, I need to get everything perfect before yeah. the baby comes. Of course, you don't need to, but that's just me. Yeah, but I think I think with time you're just going to adjust with everything. Sure. Like, would you give your kid a Nigerian name and speak in your language in the house or teach them? Ah, of course, of course. Now, why won't I give them Nigerian name? I'll give them Nigerian name. Or they will be having a Nigerian name, an Italian name, and an English name. So a total three. Well, and the Dutch is gonna be like the son name because it's Engel and that's already Dutch. So. That's it. They're going to be having a lot of names, but definitely... Three names. Nigerian, Italian, Dutch. Yeah, and yeah. definitely... Yeah. And definitely... Not specifically in that order, by the way. Yeah. Nigerian name is going to be there. And names with meaning, of course, because you know yeah. that's African names are like that. And will I teach them my language? I will try as much as possible, even though I don't really speak my language that well anymore. I do understand everything, but speaking is kind well, of difficult, but I will try. And the, the, our kids are going to need to learn already to so speak much. Dutch, English, and Italian. So, yeah. What do you mean? If they're going to if they're gonna be... They're going to speak the pigeon if they're English. Gonna well, not the, the, her, she doesn't even speak her native language. If they're gonna she be acts like she can speak her native language, but she can't. I like, the other time she tried to speak native to her mom, and it was like... Uh, uh, and then she switched over to English, and she thought I didn't see it. Done. So we'll stick to English plus... Pigeon attached to it because it's basically English and Italian and Dutch. No, babe, I'm gonna teach them my native language because obviously they're gonna be spending so much time with my mother. My mother is gonna speak my language with them, so they're gonna learn my language as well. If they're learning Italian and Dutch, trust me, they will be learning not like Urubu. So get that in. Okay, Let's... give the people one fluent Urubu. What? Are yeah, you give gonna... them, give Are them, you like... give them one fluent. See? One fluent, <laughs> one fluent line she cannot give us. You see you that? If she wants to make a kid learn a language, she doesn't even understand it. So of the course. kid is gonna be okay, one Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let language. me say. Me, let me greet. Miguo. When you wow, say Miguo, greet. it says Bredo. Omavo. Omavo means. Omavo means how are you? Omavo. Omamero. Vachayai. Vachayai. Don't die. That's Dutch. She, she's getting confused because she's nervous because you know I'm right. Let's leave the topic. I just <laughs> I just spoke, right? Like I told them, I'm not like good. Like I don't, the speaking wise is not really good, but understanding is there. Well, with my mom and me together, they're going to learn your language. So yes, they will be learning your language. So, I know a baby is a baby regardless of the gender, but what gender is each of each, each one of you hoping and why? Well, it's kind of difficult because we already know. Yeah, but before we knew... But, we, but no, we cannot say it. Yeah, but we're not saying anything. But before we knew, we both thought we were having uh, we were having like a gen a certain gender, right? Yeah, we thought. Yeah. We, we did have it. But we can't say it now because I will spoil it. Yeah. Because we're, we're talking about this topic in the, in the gender review vlog. Yeah. So this, as, this question is going to be answered. Yeah, that's for sure. We don't have any preference for us. Healthy baby. That's, that's, that's more first. important to us yeah. than... Um, 100%. Any other thing. So. Anyone was welcome. Okay. Would you be going for a natural bed method? No pain, no painkillers. And. That's so funny that people ask that. Like, I don't know. I've never given bed in my life. And I don't know how that pain. No, but you need to choose. If you want to go all natural. Yeah. Or if you want to take the. How do you say that? Pain uh, medication. I don't know yet. I, I haven't yeah. gotten into that yet. I think I'm going to start making a decision when I'm like seven months, eight months, when I know like the labor date is coming I think she's close. Gonna take it like most people nowadays. So I, I don't know because trust me, I, I really, I don't, I don't react really well with pain. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like she, she has a bad reflex. When reflex. she has pain, she, 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 she has a 
yeah, so difficult way of treating it, of dealing with it. I so I prefer her to use some medication. Because I don't know. Plus it's my head is big. Okay, continue. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Oh my god. Let's just leave it. <laughs> leave it. If you didn't hear it, we're just gonna leave it. Okay, this is for me. How does it feel to know that you are you are growing a soul inside of you? Well guys, I, that's like the feeling I try to explain when we're when we're doing like the pregnancy announcement. It's just it's just something that you, just me and my baby share right now. The baby is just kicking or something. I'm like, oh my god, this is something that only me can feel just from the inside. So the feeling is just so, I don't know. It's it's amazing and it's it's you feel so blessed and you feel so special because not everybody are able to experience that that feeling of giving birth or having to carry a child for nine months so it's really it's it's amazing it's a miracle man. it's a miracle and i i just don't have the words to express the feeling but it is when you are pregnant you will understand what i mean when you go for the echoes and you see it going from this little peanut to cashew a little cashew to like human being with legs with, and, with, and with and bones and, and everything in place it's, and it's just crazy god's miracle it's amazing yeah it's really amazing it's really like you are asking me how long will you take how long would you get off from maternity leave so like i said i work for myself so i really don't have a maternity leave but from my when i give birth i would definitely stop taking like clients and stuff till when i'm ready so i really don't know how long i'm going to um Take. But for the people asking in US is different, but I think in Holland when you're working, Guys, if you are a guy in Holland who's getting a baby husband, yeah, it's amazing. You get, you won't believe it, a full two, two days, days, like ridiculous. I still don't understand how is that possible. Ridiculous, people. Ridiculous. There's countries where you get like even the husband gets three months, six months, whatever. How can somebody's wife within two days be up and running after giving birth? Yeah, I don't Two get it. Two days the government gives us. Ridiculous. Yeah. Hate it. Yeah. Hate it. Giuseppe is so pissed. Gonna call in sick for 20 days after. <laughs> Giuseppe is so pissed about it. He, he always talks about how Two days? Is. How shiesty is that? Come on, people. <laughs> It's this crazy. is like a typical Dutch thing. But how long do women get then? The thing that the women, women get, get enough. They, they get, get like at least three, four three, months, four months like off. And it's normally paid. Yeah, like, it's paid. They're all paid. It's, paid. it's 100% paid. But the men is two days. The men is just two days. And then they're talking about equal rights and men and women. Ridiculous. Giuseppe is so passionate about this topic, obviously. Sorry. <laughs> Next question is, do you plan on filming the whole bet? Are we going to film it for you guys? Well, of course, parts we're going to show you guys, but a lot of parts are private. So yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, we're not going to show everything. No. But we'll try. We will try to bring but, you guys. you know, well... Yeah. Basically, a lot of stuff is private. Yeah. We'll That's try. It. We will show you guys what we feel I'm, like. I'm not gonna stress myself of coming out of the moment. Yeah. To like, oh, we need to film. I need to film this. No. Yeah. No. I'm gonna be in the moment, enjoy everything, and if I get the chance to do anything, I'll do it. But definitely not gonna stress about vlogging. Sorry. This is my special moment when my little person is coming up. <laughs> That's little a little bit more important, guys. Sorry. I think they I love y'all, but I think they understand. But we will try as much as possible because obviously we've brought you guys so far. But we will try and see what we can put together. But we're not like going to go all out in every step. That's not going to happen. So is 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 this is this stressful being pregnant? For me, like I said, like we said before, it's not. We haven't really like. Well, it also helps, of course, because she doesn't work in the office. Yeah. And she works for herself, so I she can plan her time, her naps, her food. Everything is. She can do everything she wants. So yeah. that, that helps, of course. I mean, I can imagine if you work for the three months, she was so tired she couldn't barely lift her hand. 
and you know so working eight to five every day if you're pregnant that I'm, I have stressful. to respect that because that that's that, that's hard but it's not the case for us yeah definitely so I think, I think she, she's doing well and till now it's not being stressful yeah for us no but it's not always like that for other people when is the baby due um beginning of november yeah so beginning and end of october like end of October, beginning of November. Yeah, that's that space. somewhere in between that space. That's when the baby is due. So we're going to be having our baby for Christmas. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna this be year, three. When, this year, when we started the year, we didn't realize it that last year was uh, last Christmas together. Next yeah. year is gonna be three. Yeah. Guys, I can always you can see. So the next question is: Do you have any weird craving? Cravings? Well, she's always been a person with a specific um, taste for food, right? Sometimes she just wakes up and she needs to eat her African food. <laughs> she has those days that she just wakes up and says, no matter whatever you put in front of me, I'm not eating it, I want African food. So yeah, she, sometimes she has those days that, that, that she has like a native craving. And not really, sometimes she just eats a lot of stuff. Like now she's this is candy that she likes and I know after one week she's gonna to be totally done with it yeah and she's not gonna eat it anymore so there's not been one craving consistently I do have a craving because it's consistent that I have to lime and salt like but you haven't done that in a while I haven't no. but I did it yesterday I do like I do like the taste of lime and a little bit of salt I really needed like in a few months of last month I needed to eat that every night before I go to bed because I, I just love it that's like something and like he said, I just really, really, this pregnancy, I needed my African food. Thank God for my mother, like, she just cooks a big bowl and then brings it here and I just put them in the fridge and every time I'm craving for any kind of African food, I just go and make it. I That's like, for me, the craving, but it's not like really weird things like, yeah. no, I, I, don't, I don't really have that. I, that's it guys, we've gone through all of them. Most of the questions were like the same, you know, people asking the same questions. So we already answered one and kind of answered the rest of the people. So, but those are all the questions. But I'm sure some other questions, questions came up yeah, during this Q&A. So yeah. we're going to have another one. Yeah, before the baby comes, for yeah. sure. So yeah. just keep posting your questions and uh, we'll keep answering them. Yes. And we're very happy that you guys are there with us. In yeah. This journey. You guys are so amazing. Like we, yeah. we posted that picture and we've got over 60 comments like people just really wanted to like eager to like get to know more about the whole process so really thank you guys so so much for getting involved it really makes us want to be more open and share this journey with you guys yeah so yeah thank you thank you guys thank you guys so so much so make much make sure to like share comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to tune in next week because we're gonna have a nice vlog coming and Turn on your notification. Turn on your notification. You're going to miss out some good stuff. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Yeah. Do you want to tell them we're going on a baby moon, guys? Yeah, we're going on a baby moon. We're going on a baby moon, like... We're going to go for a week to Spain. Yeah. Because normally when we want to go to the sun, we go to Italy because that's where my family is. I have a house there. So, but she wanted some peace and quiet. No family around. Yeah. So, we got a nice hotel with a pool we're just gonna relax we're just gonna eat and yeah. we're definitely gonna vlog so yeah you guys are going taking to see you guys vlog. with us yeah so you just so we're know gonna go to mallorca spain yeah yeah so yeah so if you have any fans out there Holla. see us in the streets you never know you never know so yeah that's it guys thank you guys so so much and we will see you guys in our next video bye bye